Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I am going to introduce just a crazy, crazy, simple new thing in C++ 20. Now, I'm sure a lot of work went into this, but this is the kind of thing that happens when you are just browsing the upcoming features, if you click clear on CPP reference and you can look at language features or you're just browsing through various things like the numerics library and you see this, you see mathematical constants since C++ 20. The header numbers provide several mathematical constants. Now, if you've been programming in C or C++ for a while, you're probably used to the capital M underscore pi constant that exists. Uh, it looks something like this. And to be fair, I don't even know what header M pi is in. It seems it should be in CMath. All right, there we go. So we get 3.14159. Now, um, we don't really know if that's how many digits it actually has, so let's set our precision up to like 20 or something like that. And of course I have to get the spelling right and include the IOMANIP header. Once we have sorted that out, however, this episode that should be much shorter than it is will continue to get a little bit longer. Now, we have 3.14159265358979323232. Oh, nope. Okay, there we go. That's where its precision starts to fall apart. Um, I'm going to just increase this a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and look at this new header that the entire point of this is to talk about. We found ourselves previously here in the numbers header. So, numbers. Let's go ahead and include that. And we now should be able to use our new standard pi. And it looks like this. It is an inline template const expert variable with an unspecified value. Although I would say these things do have specified values. But we've got e log 2e log 10e pi, common numerical constants that you would need, and then double um, overloads for them that exist and all of these things are in the standard numbers namespace. Now that says something because there's very few sub namespaces and nested namespaces in the C++ standard library. Numbers pi. And this is a double representation as well. And we can see that it is in fact the exact same value. Now let's see if we can coerce the long double version out of it. So this is the version that would have this underscore v here, pi underscore v. And there we go. This one is more accurate to more decimal places. 3.14159265358979323. I know that is accurate. That is the furthest that I have memorized for pi. But regardless, we can see that we now have these set of numeric constants that we can get at whatever precision we need for our particular use case. And so we could get float, double, long, double. I don't think we have a short float uh, in the works at the moment, although I do believe there's some talk about it. So uh, yeah, just one more feature of C++20. Thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.